Is my nose as really good as I think? Am I really Joel the nose? Follow me now to Osme Perfumery here in Miami. Where I'm going to put my nose to a blind smell test to see if I can really detect different fragrances. Oh, the pressure's on. Stay tuned and watch. Here to Osme Perfumery in Miami, where you guys frequently see me. I am here with the owner, one of the owners, Maurice. I'm sure most of you know him well. And uh, today I'm going to do a kind of fun little video to test to see if I really am Joel the Nose or if I'm just, you know, Joel the Frog. Now, all joking aside, you know, I'd love to kind of test the nose and see if I can determine certain fragrances. And my idea today was to pick out five of the most popular brands that they have here, five of their best sellers. And the problem was, I thought I was going to, of course, come here and pick out five of their best sellers that were unique. And of course, it would be very easy for me. But uh, Babuka and Maurice here decided to make it a much more challenging. And they have selected five of their best sellers that all basically are kind of within the same <laughs> fragrance. Maybe, group, maybe with the exception of one. So there you have it. Let me introduce which ones we're going to be testing today. I'm going to be doing, by the way, what they've done is they've smelled or sprayed all five on these scent strips. They've numbered them. I don't know which are which, and then I'm going to test them. Let me introduce you to the five. We have the latest, one of the newest from Parfums de Marley. This is Greenly. Of course, you guys recognize this, many of you, the brand new green bottle. We have next from Serjoff. This is Herba Pura. Their nickname for this is Herba Pura Crack. This is like literally people come in here and they like go crazy. Herba Crack. All right, next we have from Montal Woods and Spices. Another one of their best sellers. Most of you guys are going to recognize this from the House of Amelage. Reflection Man, one of the giants. People go, of course, nuts for this one also. And then this is, actually, what's the name of this one? Oh, heroin. Heroin. Oh, my gosh. So, from Bodicea, this is Heroin. And uh, you're not as familiar with some of these. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with most of them, but I have smelled them, obviously, beforehand, so I can at least know what I'm talking about. I, I can't do smell something I've never smelled before, it would, okay. it would defeat the purpose never having smelled them. But these are all kind of in the same group, roughly, and uh, so I guess let's, let's go for let's it. start with number one. All right, all right, okay. so here we go, number one. All right, here you go. Let me clean my nose. All right. <sighs> kind of have to me, this has a little bit of a cola, almost effervescent cola, coke-like smell to it a little bit. I'm, so should I guess them now? Like, well, yeah. I smell them all. Okay. So you should pretty much okay. guess which one right. I, I'm going to, my first guess, but I noticed this one, there were two of these that were very similar to me. I, this to me is either Reflection Man or Woods and Spices. I'm going to put it right now as Reflection Man, but let me see. Let me smell some of the others. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, damn. I mean, you, dudes are, you guys are killing me. I mean, really trying to make it hard here. If it was easy, it would not be fun. So again, to me, this is going to either be heroin or possibly over pure. I'm going to stick it under heroin for now, and uh, we'll, we'll keep going. This is, what, number one? But you don't know what plot number one is. I don't. To me, this is green leaf. Number four, uh, like it means anything, but just giving you the numbers. To me, this is Urban Pure. Number five. Oh, gosh. Is there a six one? Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe there is one in there just to 
kind of throw you off on purpose. So I, this to me again is these two are so similar, Woods and Spices and Reflection Man. I hope they use the ones I think they are, but I'm going to say that was Woods and Spices from Montal. And then what is this? This is an honorable mention, a six mm -hmm. random, mm -hmm. which, okay, I did not get a chance to smell the six one. I have smelled the five of these before we started, so I at least knew what I was talking about. Let's see what happens. Gosh. Oof. How am I supposed to guess it if it's not here? Mm. Who says it is not? Mm. So I'm going to give you a hint. It reminds me a little bit of the... No. It is in there. They're killing me now. It's in there. Mm -hmm. mm. No, it's not green. Like that. I don't know, this is tough. Not that. Has it been drying down? Is it freshly sprayed? No, it was sprayed at the same time as everything oh. else. I don't it's, wow, this is like, it's not Urban Cura. I don't think it's Woods and Roses, or wood, yeah, Woods and Spices. Hmm. Maybe a reflection man? I could have that like same coke smell though. I don't know. I, I maybe I'll go with this one then. So now it's getting confusing. So this is what happens, you know, when you get kind of what, what's the term? Not nose exhaustion, but when you smell too many things at once, this is a very frequent problem why you shouldn't smell so many different or maybe that may just be the excuse. <laughs> All right, so I guess. So this is your final. This is my final, but I, you know, this one I, I'm not. I mean, okay. I, I again, it's got more of a fresh. I don't know. If I had to guess, I'm gonna guess green leaf because it's got more of a fresh scent. Okay. That's so, that goes on my guess. So which one is the odd one out? <sighs> the odd so one out. Which one has well, no, no, this, this one to me was the odd one out. Okay. okay. So let me take this one. All right. So the odd one out, number two, is woods and spices. Ah. Okay. So this belongs here. So what you had as what you had as number three, okay, was correct. This is heroin. All right. I am so so. I just got one correct and one correct. All right. Um, number two is woods and spices. So woods and spices, okay. you have five. So let me go. The the other one out that you have under um, reflection. Is actually yes, said from perfumes of my Ah, so you did trick me. It was not in there. I, I said I so I said it smelled to me like mm -hmm. green. So I clearly picked up the perfumes de Marly DNA. DNA. All right, so I don't feel as bad because I was completely tricked there. I did pick out the DNA in the correct house, but all right, all right. So, so I'll count that as being right. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> the one that was with and spices was number five, which is reflection. So that one you did not. So I, and I did say that those were very tough for me, and I did so I confused those two, which I was afraid I might do. But that shows you, right? Uh, and number four uh, was Herba Pure, which you did get right. Okay. Um, number one, what was number one? So I got that one right. Number one was green. I got that one right. So, so the only two I messed up, they were the two I was afraid of messing up. That thanks, Bob, because those were her uh, selections to really screw with me here. And I got those two correct, but are incorrect. But I, I did switch them, which I thought they were very similar. If you've never smelled woods and spices, guys, it's a a really close resemblance, at least to my nose, to reflection and right probably half the price. Yes. 
half the price. So if you want to get into a similar smell, that, that, I highly recommend it. All right, all right. I think that was a uh, pretty successful one. I got, what, so what was the correct number? Uh, you got a C. C, I think I'm higher than that. I think I got them almost all correct. And I even got the, the mystery one, at least I got the house correct. So, but I missed up on these two. Thank you guys as always for hosting me here. And, and if you fun. haven't been to Osme, get your asses down here or online to osmeperfumery.com. Um, this is, you know, just a, a, an apothecary that will blow you away and, and the service and, and from Babaka and Maurice here and, and what they'll introduce you to will blow your mind. So I want to thank you guys again for allowing me to, to come here and have fun today. Fun. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, your subscriptions just, they, they help me, they motivate me to keep producing more content. And of course you can always like the video if you like it and ring the bell for notifications because that way you'll get notified every time I put new content out and you don't have to go searching for it. This is Joel the Nose. Hope everyone's having a great new year and I'll be back soon with another video.